Okay, all right. So again, hello, dear. <laughs> Sorry, no man. Allergies. Okay, anyway. Oh my God, these allergies. Okay, anyway. So this part na po the video, this is all about gram staining. Again, I have mentioned or discussed about this in our intro to micro. So I hope this is just a review, a refresher of, one of, of what you've already learned. Okay, so again, gram staining is one of the most, and if not the most important staining procedure in routine bacteriology. Because again, um, you know, it's through gram staining that the two major uh, groups of bacteria are divided. And through this division, we can already, um, you know, know kung unsa nagyud ang kailangan ng mga further tests after this, okay? It's through gram staining na initial, usually the first step na itong buhaton good is gram stain. Because we want to know kung unsa sulud sa specimen. Like, unsa na mga kagawang sulud? Are they gram positive coxae ba? Or does it have gram neg bacilli unsa ba? So that from then on, makabulon na sa itong mga further tests. Unsa, unsa na culture media itong gamiton. And ultimately, unsa na antibiotics ang gamiton against this particular pathogen. Okay, so again, this is gram staining. Um, again, unsa na type ang gram staining according to staining techniques. It's a differential staining. And again, by the name itself, it's uh, discovered by Mr. Hans Christian Gram um, in 1864 ba to? Um, Or 18 something. Okay, so again, it's through this the, bright, the mind of this brilliant man na napa-easy ato ang <laughs> napa-easy atong uh, trabaho all right uh, so thank you um, sir hans christian gram okay so again the two major types of bacteria according to gram staining again which we usually follow na good are your gram positive and your gram negative so it will now depend on their reaction to the stains na tong gina apply okay so for gram positive so it takes up the crystal violet which is your primary stain it resists decolorization using alcohol and it retains crystal violet. So therefore, um, overall, iyahang positive or iyahang color after staining if gram positive it's purple. Okay? Whereas for gram negative, it um, yeah, it takes up crystal violet. Silang tanan, both of them at the first part, ila jung dawato ng crystal violet. But the redas lamo differ. It allows decolorization. Why? Uh, again, we'll discuss that later. And therefore, since Mawala man ang crystal violet, na decolorize man siya. So, iyahang itake up rather ang secondary stain or your counter stain, which is your safranine. That is why ang gram negative ng mga bacteria, ang color nila is pink or red. Okay? After staining. Okay. Alright. So, again, for reagent function, your first is your crystal violet. Again, this is uh, considered to be your primary stain. Primary. Primary. Primary stain. So, it's the first stain na apply So, both of them will take up crystal violet. Okay, so again, primary stain. Contact time is about one minute. Okay, for first, next is of course your um, grams iodine, which is your mordant. Again, when say purpose of mordant, mordant, it just strengthens or further solidifies the reaction of the first primary stain with the cell. Okay, so ato na siyang i strengthen, kumbaga, ang relationship, oh, di ba? So crystal violet ug sa cell, di ba? So ipa strengthen ato na siya using your grams iodine mordant for about a minute. And then, of course, follow ato it test ang relationship using a decolorizer, which is acetone alcohol. So, kung gram positive ka, hindi ju ka mubuhi sa crystal violet, dili ka magpa apekto sa imuhang decolorizer, okay? Therefore, imong it take up ang crystal violet, maritain ang crystal violet. Pero kung gram negative ka, so if naga kay kasi mo relationship, nagpa apekto kasi mong decolorizer, di matangtang po ang crystal violet. Understood? Okay. So, about 10 to 30 seconds. And saffron in your counter stain, since again, crystal violet. Um, gram positive di ba organisms ila mang uh, nag nagpa strong sa sila relationships sa more than wala sila nagpa to sa decolorizer sa ilahang um, um, third party ah huh? yes naman so dili nila matika pang safranin di ba okay so again this is your secondary stain 30 to 45 seconds as the next slide din na siya na explanation nako na okay kana mga relationship relationship anyway all right so again 30 to 45 seconds but please take note ang contact time guys it will differ on the manufacturers of the stains or on the organism that you want to um, determine because there are other organisms that um, they need more time, okay? To more time to move on, Char. More time to react with the crystal violet ba, inana? Because maybe because of their composition sa cell wall, inana. So it would depend on the organism and also the manufacturers na na provide sustain ang contact time, okay? But theoretically, kanina siya. One minute, one minute, 10 to 30 seconds, and 30 to 45 seconds, okay? So now, this is the principle why, you know, gram-positive is gram-positive and why gram-neg is gram-neg. For gram-positive organisms, my good guys, as you can see, please take note, kanina layer. Baga kayahang murine layer or peptidoglycan layer. Compare naman to imuhang gram-negative, okay? Ayan. So gram-positive and again, for gram-negative. As you can see, nipis ra kayahang 
um, more than murine layer, as you can see. And then, ang gram-positive is baga kayo. Now, in the murine layer, namo ko na sila mga tachoic acids. Oh, naman. Tachoic acids. Okay? And the murine layer mismo. Now, what happens, mga good guys, is pag-apply ni mo sa pag-apply ni mo sa Oh, diba? In comparison, diba? Mag gamay ni pisa nyo ang gram-neg, baga kayo ang gram-positive na murine layer or peptidoglycan layer. Now, when you apply mga crystal violet, what happens is because sa kabaga sa gram-positive, mas ma-hold ma on ni ang crystal violet compared naman sa kanipi sa gram-negative. Diba? As you can see, you know, your crystal violet reacts with the different components or the peptidoglycan layer. Since baga kayo siya, mas daghang makakapit sa crystal violet. Okay? Whereas kung sa gramneg, gamay rapul ka ayo ang makakapit, munang dili dyan niya ma-retain ang crystal violet. Pag-apply sa decolorizer. Okay? Kagets lang. So again, gram positive, baga ka ilahang um, murine layer. So daghan ka ayong mga tachoic acids or mga murine, ang, or peptidoglycan na mo hold on to the crystal violet. Okay? So pag-abot sa decolorizer, dili ra niya mabuhian dahil ang crystal violet. Therefore, ma-retain ma niya ang crystal violet after the staining procedure. Whereas for gram-negative, since ni Peace naman, although at the start, ma at the start, pag butan mo crystal violet, di ba, ma-retain niya ang crystal violet. But since pag-apply niya mo sa uh, decolorizer, which is your acetone alcohol, dili niya na mapunggan or dili niya ma-hold on ang crystal violet, iyang ilat go na noon. Okay? Understood? So therefore, munang dili niya ma uh, retain ang crystal violet, okay, after the staining procedure, okay. I do hope that's quite uh, understandable, okay. All right. So in picture again for gram positive and gram negative reagent is none. Of course, both of them they do not have any color, okay. So first is of course crystal violet. Both of them take up, okay, di ba? Both of them man they have the peptidoglycan layer, okay. So at the start palang crystal violet palang gibutang silang tanan or both of them they will of course um hold on, okay, to these um to the reagent, okay? So, you don't have to worry about um, murag. At first, good. Dawa to nilang crystal violet, okay? And then, of course, grams iodine for more that, di ba? Pang pa strengthen sa relationship between the crystal violet and the cell. So, of course, mo strengthen man is strengthen lang, so the color still remains the same. Because again, ang purpose of grams iodine is your more than to just strengthen the initial reaction between the crystal violet and the cell. So both of them, they retain the same color. Now, when it comes to decolorizer na, your acetone alcohol, since again, your gram positive, di ba, strong man yung pagkakapit sa relationship nila ni crystal violet, dili niya malet go diode. So muna, if na third party, in the case na maabot si decolorizer, dili niya mabuhian ang crystal violet. Therefore, maritain na good ang, ang color na violet. Understood? But si gram-negative, since weak manila relationship between crystal violet and gram-negative na cell wall, so pag abot sa third party, dali na kayo nilet go ang <laughs> gram-negative bacteria. Therefore, pag butang ni mo decolorizer, ma, huwag tang ang crystal violet. So dili niya ma-hold on yung ilet go. Okay? Alright. And since there's another one, bagong love interest, si safranine, so since si gram positive all the way from the start, kay strong magigit siya, loyal magigit siya ni crystal violet, strong magigit na relationship, bahalag na pa yung decolorizer or safranine, therefore, at the end of it, violet na gapon siya. Whereas si um, acetone, as si gram negative, since nakamove on naman siya from crystal violet, kay tungod aning acetone alcohol, you know, gi giwagtang man si crystal violet because of decolorizer, na siya bagong love interest, si safranine, so yan ang dawato na karon, and that is your uh, that's why color pink na siya or red. Okay, so in a nutshell, basically, pina realistic ko na explanation sa gram staining. But I do hope na nakagets from sa explanation. Again, ang overall result for gram positive organisms, they are color violet. And for gram negative organisms, they are color pink or red. Okay, so <laughs> in a nutshell, man siya gram staining. Okay, all right. Now we now go, ayan, susko. Um, intro to micro, I always, di ba, emphasize na ako ni guys, please dapat na memorize ni. Because again, mubalik niya siya sa bacteriology. Actually, ba, kanina mga topics, balik na po ni siya from intro to micro. So here, another balik na po siya to um, our rules, di ba? So our general rules, number one, all coxa are gram positive, except NVM, Neisseria, Veilonella, and Moraxella, or Branhamella, iyang old name. Again, as I mentioned, all coxi are gram positive. So, strep, staphylococcus, enterococcus, faclamia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Memories of faclamia. Faclamia, you have pidiococcus, um, abiotrophia, granulicatella. So, kanisa na mga coxi. Again, all coxi outside of NVM, they are gram positive. Guys, ha, third year, back to Just go. Oh my God, wag nag mag isep. Dapat dili na dyan magkamali ana. Staphylococcus inside gram stain, gram positive. As in, like, one second na dapat, okay? So again, kanira. Kanira ang gram, negative. NVM, Neisseria, Veilonella, and Moraxella. 
And all basilai, again, are gram-negative except for makbelangaw, bep. Oh, diba? So, wala oh, na bep din na. Yeah, bifido, eobacterium, and propioni bacterium. So, makbelangaw, bep. Makbelangaw, bep. Bumabalik na naman sila. Makbelangaw, bep. Okay? So, muni sila, again, ang gram-positive basilai. The rest na basilai outside of this are gram-negative. You have your Enterobacteria E. coli, uh, Klebsiella, Seresia, Enterobacter, Hafnia, Pseudomonas, Acinetobacter, Alkaligenes, Stenotrophomonas, all of the gram neg uh, all of the bacilli outside of this are considered to be gram-negative. Okay? So, kanila sila gram-positive. So, Macbilangaw, uh, Mycobacterium, Clostridium, Corinebacterium, Bacillus, Ericephalotrix, Lactobacillus, uh, Listeria, Arcanobacterium, Nocardia, Gardnerella, um, actinomyces, Wacella, Bifidobacterium, Eubacterium, Eubacterium, and Propioni bacterium. So, kanila na sila ang um, gram positive basilia. Again, again, I do hope. Katong intro to micro, pa, uh, if, I forgive pa tamo if wala pa na-memorize, pero karon guys, utang na loo. Oh, please memorize this na. Okay? Na natin ni Monix, oh, you have NVM. And kanisha siya, Macbilangaw, Bep. Ano pa ang inahanap nyo, guys? Alright? Okay, so, please, please. Again, because again, it will help you na, Giyod when you come to biochemical testing and further sa bacteriology. When you are a master of these rules, okay na yun. Okay? Initially, okay na. Na solid na foundation gamay. Okay? And of course, when you go to spirochetes, they are gram-negative. Unsa so, rito example of spirochetes? Yes, na joke yung remember na student, ani. BLT. <laughs> you have, um, B stands for Borrelia. <laughs> L stands for Leptospira. And you have T stands for Treponema. <laughs> okay. BLT. Okay, mga bastos kayo. Nadyo kayo, member na student, ani. Hi, memories. Murag karos arato. Okay, so BLT, your types of spirochete. And please take note the I, since we're going to yung exam sa intro to micro and wala na ako na-mention. Leptospira, muni siya ang spirochete na na ay question mark appearance or na ay uh, question mark or na ay hooked ends. Ayan. Because mura siya, ganun siyang question mark kay hook yung ends and then mo spirochete siya. Inana. So mura siya question mark for leptospira hooked ends okay na spirochete all right so again uh, examples of spirochetes you have BLD B uh, Borrelia leptospira and Treponema di yung bastos okay all right but again the the more bastos lagi the mnemonic the more helpful okay all right so again these are general rules in gram staining please 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 memorize dili na ko mo allow familiarize lang memorize okay by heart okay all right Alright, now we go on to your different theories. Okay, first one is um, MGRNA or magnesium ribonucleic acid theory. Um, usually now, because of sa gram-positive bacteria na MGRNA sa ilang cell wall, mo combine siya with the crystal violet and iodine, which is a very um, strong down na compound or um, yeah compound or uh, yeah compound na dili siya ma matablan sa alcohol. Therefore, dili siya uh, ma resist niyang decolorization because of this compound daw. Okay, that's for mgRNA theory. For Benyan theory, for gram-positive bacteria daw, of course, less permeable siya to iodine alcohol. So therefore, delete Japon siya ma, uh, delete siya ma decolorize. So resist siya decolorization. That's according to Benyan theory. Now for um, Stern and Stern, for gram-positive bacteria daw, they have lower isoelectric points. So meaning mas acidic, so mas mo, uh, mas mo attract siya basic dyes. So since ang first basic dye na yung apply is uh, crystal violet, so mas ni attract siya sa crystal violet. Okay? Because have lower isoelectric point daw ilang cell wall, so mas acidic ilang cell wall daw, so mas mo attract siya basic dye. And on sa first basic dye na yung apply you have crystal violet. Okay? And for lipid content theory, ang gram-neg bacteria daw, because of increased uh, lipid content, um, since lipids are polar, right? And your... Um, Acetone alcohol is also polar. So, they are both uh, same substances, polar. So, therefore, mas easy ra musulod ang acetone alcohol sa lipid layer. Ayan. So, therefore, mas mu work ang decolorization. Okay? Or mas dali siya mga decolorize because of the lipid by layer, which is again polar, and acetone alcohol is also polar. Therefore, polar, polar, diba? Like substances dissolve each other, diba? So, muna siya. That's according to lipid content theory. And the last theory is your tachoic acid theory. As I mentioned, for gram-positive bacteria daw, again, in the peptidoglycan layer of gram-positive cell wall, daghang tachoic acid linkages. Okay? And these tachoic acid linkages facilitate in the capturing of the crystal violet. 
um, para dili easy ma let go during decolorization. Oh, diba? Sana all dili easy ma let go, charot. Okay. Again, ang sa itong different nato na reagents for gram staining, na dito ni Monica, na you have C, uh, ah, C, bias. Okay, C, bias. So, your crystal violet, diba? Which is, again, your primary stain. Next, your iodine, more that. Next, your acetone alcohol. And last, you have your saffrony or counter stain. So again, C vias. Muna siya yung mga um, reagents na ginagamit for gram staining. In that order, okay? Primary stain, iodine sa purpose, iodine. Grams iodine, you are more than to strengthen the relationship between the crystal violet and the cells. And you have acetone alcohol, your decolorizer, and your saffrony. Please take note there, guys. The most critical step, most critical step in gram staining is your decolorization. Most critical step. Because again, if too much na po ang decolorizer, pwedeng instead of gram positive siya, because of too much decolorizer, may muna siyang gram negative. And if it's too little po na decolorizer, supposed to be gram neg siya, since gamay ram na mo ang decolorizer, so wala na tang ng crystal violet. Inana. So again, when we say the most critical, most critical step in uh, gram staining, on sa to? Decolorization. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Next. We now go to the reasons why, again, gram-positive bacteria can become gram-negative. Number one is removal of mgRNA, di ba? Based on the first theory, mgRNA theory, ang mgRNA mo forms a very stable compound with iodine and alcohol, uh, with iodine and crystal violet, therefore, ma-resist nilang decolorization. Now, if mawala ang mgRNA, so mawala po na compound, so mas easy nilang siya ma-decolorize, okay? Next is, of course, autolysis, aging, and temperature of incubation. So, wala na dili na kayo strong yung cell wall. So, nawala ang integrity sa yung cell wall, therefore, mas dili na siya mukapit sa crystal violet. Okay? Because of aging and autolysis or autolysis. And last, acidic solution of grams iodine because again, this would promote, sorry, <laughs> instead of, <laughs> instead of um, promoting the um, reaction between crystal violet and iodine, dili na noon siya mo react. Okay? Or like, mo weaken na noon ang ilahag uh, reaction, okay? And last one is over-decolorization. Daghan na kay kang decolorizer na butang. Diba? As I mentioned ganina, decolorization, the critical, most critical step in gram staining, okay? And next one, you have reasons why gram neg become uh, gram positive. Of course, incomplete decolorization. Nanad po decolorization. Because again, supposed to be gram neg siya, but since gamay rin mo decolorizer gibutang, dilita na ang uh, crystal violet ang mawala. So, napadjapi crystal violet na magpabilin, therefore, ma-misinterpret siya as gram positive. Okay, and thick smear preparation. Why? Because again, if thick smear preparation, um, because of baga kayo siya, delete, delete ng crystal violet ang maka stain sa cells. Okay, or like because daghan ka yung other cells na naa sa smear. Okay, or because again of daghan ka yung cells, delete na mas stain tanan. All right. So what will happen is if delete siya mas stain tanan, so sa crystal violet palang daan gamay na ang narite na crystal violet. So therefore, ang ma take up talang nila is ang safranin. Okay, all right. That's for thick smear preparation. Okay, all right. And we have also what we call your rapid non-stain tests for true gram reaction. Example lang, uh, nag-wonder ka kung tinuod ba dyan iyahang gram stain reaction. We have number one is Lana, L-alanine for nitroanilide. Dili na siya oil, katupang hilo, charot. So, <laughs> if yellow color daw siya kay gram neg, and if no color kay gram positive, basically it's just the reaction between the cell wall and this reagent. Okay, again, this is just to confirm pag yun, the reaction if unsa dyan tinuod. Namagoy ibang bacteria, guys, na gram variable. When you say gram variable, Dili, dili um, established iya hang gram stain reaction na gram positive or gram negative gud siya. Pwede siyang mixed of gram positive or gram negative. Now, if you want to confirm, pwede ka mo gamit aning lana. So, you get a colony of bacteria and then butangan mo siya in sterile water siguro and then add lana. If yellow color siya, then it's gram neg and if no color, gram positive. And we also have your 3% KOH na string test. If um, butang ka again colony, and KOH of nice string na, ay, sorry, <laughs> nice string na ma-formed and that's gram-negative. And we also have, according to Bailey and Scott, oh, diba? this antibiotic na, if you want to establish the true gram-stain status of an organism, you test it with vancomycin. Ayan. What antibiotic? Vancomycin. Because vancomycin is um, your gram-positive bacteria good are susceptible. Meaning, ma matablan sila sa um, gram uh, sa vancomycin and your gram neg are inherently or innately resistant okay so therefore if you have 
um, a bacteria, bacterial species or, you know, yeah, genus na wala kakabalo sa yung gram stain. And you want to check, you want to further check kayo, dili ka comfortable or sure, confident sa yung gram stain reaction. You may test it with these tests or with vancomycin. Okay, vancomycin. Because again, vancomycin, um, your gram-positive bacteria are susceptible. So, pag test ni mo na colony daw sa vancomycin, niya susceptible siya, then your organism is gram-positive. And if it's resistant, then it's gram-negative. Again, but not all gram-positive have most of them because other gram-positive, example, enterococcus, are um, also resistant to vancomycin. Okay, na mga vancomycin-resistant enterococcus. But generally, again, if you want to establish daw the true gram-stain reaction of um, an organism, again, you can test this or vancomycin. Okay? Alright. Ayan. So that's all for gram staining. That's quite a lengthy discussion. <laughs> for the next part, we'll now go to after staining, of course, we'll now examine it under the microscope. So basically, I review na naman from intro to micro, the different types of microscope, and how we report results. Okay? Alright. So that's for the next video. Okay?